Hello, dear friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly crave your indulgence to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And about to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. A former United States ambassador to Nigeria, Ambassador John Campbell, has warned of a possible takeover of the recently acquired Super Tucano fighter jets by bandits and terrorists. Recall that the Nigerian government recently took delivery of six Tucano A-29 Super Tucano fighter jets from the United States of America, which reportedly cost over $500 million. Mr. Campbell gave the prediction in the light of the fall of the Afghanistan government and the takeover of similar high-grade military jet fighter by the Taliban. The U.S. had also sold 23 super Tucanos to the Afghanistan government to combat the Taliban. But the Taliban are now in control of at least one of the assault jets through the collapse of Ashraf Ghani's government. Though it seems unlikely at present, there is also the potential that a super Tucano could fall into the hands of a jihadi terrorist group. Mr. Campbell wrote saying, citing instances of how terrorist groups seized other military equipment in Nigeria. In August, a Nigerian Air Force fighter jet returning to base from a mission on the Zamfara Kaduna border crashed under intense gunfire from bandits. The pilot escaped by the whiskers, leaving the wrecked aircraft behind. The Nigerian Air Force officially inducted the 6A29 Super Tucano fighter jets on Tuesday to aid its fight against insecurity in the country. Nigeria was said to have purchased the A29 Super Tucano fighter jets at about 500 million US dollars through foreign military sales program. The American embassy in Abuja had described it as the largest sale in sub-Saharan Africa. During the induction ceremony of the Super Tucano jets, the US Department of Defense, the US Department of Defense leaders who were also present said that the aircraft will assist the Nigerian Air Force in their fight against violent extremists and other organizations including the Islamic State West African Province. A statement by the embassy also disclosed that the U.S. is providing $36.1 million in infrastructure as support at the Kanji Air Base, where the Super Tucanos will be housed. Additionally, 64 Nigerian pilots have been trained at an American Air Force base on how to handle the aircraft. Mr. Campbell also expressed worries on whether the aircraft will be used to combat terrorism or used against other targets such as the Biafran agitators or Niger Delta militants. Now that the Super Tucanos are part of the Nigerian Air Force, an issue will be how they used how they are used rather. Will they be used only against the jihadist terrorists in the north? Or will there be the temptation to use them against other targets such as the Biafra secessionist group, IPOP, Niger Delta militants, 
or even cattle rustlers? Broader use increases the potential for civilian casual casualties. The Biafra separatist movement, the indigenous people of Biafra, is suing to block the sales in a Washington, D.C. court, he added. The Nigerian government has, over time, relied on the U.S. arms and military equipment sales to help combat insecurity. While the country battles a myriad of security challenges, critics and rights organizations oppose the sales of the aircraft to Nigeria, citing the Buhari's regime's constant abuse of human rights. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular revelation, as it were? It is really, really sad and unfortunate, but um, this is the reality that we are facing right now as it is. The former U.S. ambassador to Nigeria has made a huge revelation that needs to be taken into consideration. It is true that Nigeria needs this fighter jet, but the fears are there that this Super Tucano fighter jets might be seized by terrorists. And also, that there are fears that they could also be used on targets like members of the indigenous people of Biafra who are fighting for the breaking up of the country or for who are fighting for a referendum rather and they are fighting for an independent nation of Biafra for the people of the Igbos in the southeastern part of the country. Don't forget that some time ago, was it in April or thereabout, or the Nigerian government had to send a military fighter jet to Imo State where lots of people were killed. It is what it is. The question is, are these alarm that is being raised by the U.S. ambassador, former U.S. ambassador to Nigeria, John Campbell, are they real? Absolutely, yes, they are real. The body language of the Nigerian government led by President Muhammad Buhari to a very large extent suggests that anything could happen because looking at the instances of all that has been happening since he took over, government, it tells you that anything is possible and the man could um, turn the southeast to a soft target. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet subscribed. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support.